I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to this very interesting concept on complex numbers. We are given a complex number and we will find the value, rather exact value of a polynomial. The equation here is, if z equals to 2 minus 3i, find the value of 4z cube minus 3z square plus 170. Four options are given to you. So in advanced level mathematics or university first year mathematics, you can have these kinds of questions. Now let us see how to solve such a question. First, let's work out with z itself. We are given z, the complex number, as 2 minus 3 iota. As you know, i square is minus 1, right? So the real part is 2, imaginary part is minus 3i. If I take 2 to the left side, I get z minus 2 equals to minus 3i. And now if I square both sides, now these are standard steps which are followed to solve these kinds of questions, right? So, so one solution will give you kind of a framework for any other related question. So when you square this, you get z square minus 4z plus 4 equals 2. Now square of this minus becomes positive, right? 3 square is 9, but i square is negative 1, right? So let me write this as 9 square, okay? And then we'll make it negative. So what we get here is z square minus 4z plus 4 equals to minus 9. So i square is minus 1, okay? Bringing them together, gives you z square minus 4z plus 4 plus 9 equals to 0 and that is 13 so we get z square minus 4z plus 13 equals to 0. So we get one uh, equation which says complex number square minus 4 times that complex number plus 13 is equal to 0. Correct? Now the idea here is that we need to actually evaluate what is 4z cube minus 3z square plus 170. So what we are trying to do here is write this polynomial in terms of what we have got. So in terms of product and sum, we'll make this. So we have this z square minus 4z plus 30. So, all this is zero, right? Since we need here 4z cube, what can I do? I can multiply this number by 4z. Do you see that? Now, if I open this, I get minus 16z square, but I need only minus 3. I don't need minus 16, correct? So, what should I do? So that is how we have to think about it, correct? So what I could add here is, I could add 13 times the whole thing, correct? So the whole thing is, which is zero, right? So which is z square minus 4z plus 30. You get an idea. Now if I multiply, see, I've written only 13. I've not written z with this. So 13z squared. Here we have minus 14. Let's do our math on the side. Minus 4 and uh, 4 gives us minus 16z, right? And here we get 13, I mean z square. And here we get 13z square, correct? So if I add them up, I get minus 3z square, which is this point. Correct? Now, we have another term here, which is 4z times 13. So we have another term. Let me show you this. When you multiply this with this, we have 4z times 13. And here also we have minus 4z times 13. Do you see that? So they give you 0. And we do not have any z term. So it works perfectly fine. But there is one number which doesn't match, which is... 13 times 13 is 169, right? So 13 times 13 is equal to 169, but we need 170. So what I can do is add, I can add 1 to this. 
Do you see that part? So if you look into it, we have written our polynomial 4z cube minus 3z square plus 170 as sum of these three polynomials. 4z times something 0, 13 times something 0, right? What we know here is that this is 0. So all these are 0, right? This is 0, this is 0. So we are left with only 1. So what we get here is plus 1. And so option A is the right option. You understand the concept, right? So, so go through this concept. It will take a moment to understand what we have done here. Well, that's a beautiful technique of finding exact value of a polynomial. Perfect. So let's repeat the steps. Whenever you are given a complex number, bring the real numbers together. Square, get rid of that complex value, i square, right, which is negative. Then you have a polynomial whose sum is zero, right? So we get a polynomial whose sum is zero. You have to basically write the polynomial in terms of that polynomial. Do you understand? Once you do that, you will get your answer. So that is how we should be working to get the answer quickly for such questions. I hope the concept is absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments. Share my videos with your friends and subscribe to them. Okay, I'm emphasizing you to share because a very limited, uh, you know, um, I should say uh, views. So I want to increase them. And I also need some good questions from you as many of our subscribers are contributing. That contributes to the richness of our site. Thanks for your time and all the best.